Yo, what is good everybody on YouTube? Back with another video, it's your boy Rizzo, and today we are setting up for the three-piece wheels that we are going to redo, so stay tuned. So before starting this process, like I said, we just came from Status Motoring, uh, and pretty much what we did was pretty much look at the specs of the wheels, how they're gonna fit, and the setup that we're gonna go with, the colors, hardware color, center caps, and so on and so forth. So in this first part, we're gonna take apart the faces, we're gonna make sure that you know we take them apart so they get sent over to powder coating, and that would be first. So let's get straight with this video. Alright, guys, so now that we are here. Um, what we're going to be doing today is pretty simple, but for those who have not seen a video uh, on the process of pretty much taking apart a set of three-piece wheels, I'm going to show you guys that today, and we're pretty much we're going to be taking out the faces uh, for these wheels because we're going to send them out to get powder coated. Uh, there's a specific color I do have in mind, and as the videos goes on, I go on, you know, you guys will see the color, and I hope you guys like the color scheme because for me, this color scheme was on point. It was something different. It was something that I haven't really seen much, but it's something that to my liking was perfect. So these wheels we're going to take apart. Um, we're just going to pretty much assess them and look at what exactly needs to be done in order to get these rebuilt and looking brand new. So we're going to go ahead, start taking these apart, and I'm um, going to show you guys step by step on how to do them and, you know, get this process going and get these wheels, you know, nice and powder coated and look brand new and look fresh just how, you know, you got them when you first buy them. So, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Let's go with the video. All right, guys, as you guys can see, this wheel right here has all these bolts and it comes with nuts and bolts um, on the back. It has the nuts that hold them and pretty much fasten them together. But this is what holds this face to the lip and to the rear barrel. So, we're going to just start taking these apart. These are M8. Uh, so, usually I don't have that socket. So, what I've been doing, I did one wheel already. Uh, I've just been using an 8 mil socket. Uh, and I have my gun first. I try it by hand on the rear to take the nut off. And then I go with, you know, just taking it off by hand. But if it doesn't work, then I just give it a little extra push with that gun. And, yep. Just take care of it so let's get started all right guys so here you guys can see they're going all around so we're just gonna try to loosen these up once we feel that they're nice and loose they'll either come off completely or you'll have to put that eight note socket right on there but it's pretty much all it is Take it apart. Don't know why they put another one on there. This should be fun. Yep. Yep, not gonna happen. So, it's too tight. I'm gonna grab the gun and just give it a little love. Now these aren't too rusted, so if they were too rusted, I would suggest putting some WD-40 or, you know, something that Pretty much will soften up all the rust in it. It's not that badly rusted. It's just dirty for the most part. Um, as you guys can see here, good thing I'm getting new hardware. This one had a missing nut and pretty much was broken off. So I'm going to try to push that out eventually once I'm done with the rest of them. And we'll just keep going at it 
and see how it goes. <laughs> pull up side by side and try to bring them up as even as possible so you won't scratch the lips and voila there you guys have it all out ready to go so as you guys can see that is pretty much how to take apart at least these sets of AG wheels now I know that there's other three-piece wheels that Pretty much, you have to take them all apart and, you know, cut the seal, cut them in half, uh, you know, take apart the barrel from the lip and the faces. Luckily, I don't have to do that. So, either way, I am going to get them resealed and I am going to work on, you know, painting the back barrels a certain color. But that is a DIY, so I'm going to do that myself. The lips, I'm also going to sand down, try to fix them, get as much scuffs as I can off, repolish them, and make sure that you know they come out good. So that is the process, at least for this first video, um, as far as how to start taking apart your three-piece wheels. So took that apart, faces, the rest of the faces are coming off now, and we're gonna send them off to get powder coated. On the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm gonna be pretty much just fixing these lips and all this that's dirty. So I gotta take care of that before, obviously, because you don't wanna put the wheels back together and then, you know, now that you have all this space, you might as well use it and um, get it properly fixed. So I'm gonna do that as well. Taking this to the tire shop, taking the tires off because I'm gonna reseal them. Um, and then we're gonna have another part of the video where you guys are gonna see me just repaint the barrels. So. There's more content guys there's more content to come this was just a quick one just to show you guys how to take apart three piece wheels so hope you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys in the next video it's your boy rizzo i'm out